Today I'm going to try and uh, create a basic um, command line tool using Xcode to demonstrate uh, properties, methods and objects. So create a new Xcode project. Um, OSX application command line tool. Next, call it structure. Uh, enable automatic reference counting. Next, store in documents. Yeah, okay. Uh, leave this unchecked. Create local Git repository for your project. For this project, do not tick that. Create. Okay. So, I start with a main.m file. And if I run this, um, if I run this in the command output window, you'll see it'll output the uh, hello world. That's an NS log message being sent to the uh, NS log terminal. So now, if I go to new file, Objective C class. Capitalize the first word, my and the second word, camel case, camel case with a capital at the beginning. Uh, class is ML, is my class, so it's a subclass of NS object. Next, yes, do add it to the project. Great. So, my class dot h. Uh, the interface it's uh, a subclass of NS object, so it's there. the interface my class colon NS object. At property, oops, property int age, int date, and let's do a method void, do something. Terminate it with a uh, semicolon because we're just a uh, Telling the class that this uh, method exists, not actually building it out, not padding it out yet to uh, fully, descri fully describe it. So that's that. Save. Now click on the assistant editor. Let's full screen this, shall we? Uh, you see, if I click on the H file, the complement complementary M file is described here. This is your interface. This basically means that. Um, this is the interface of the class, um, the, the interface that other parts of the program will see. All the internal stuff, uh, like the methods and how the methods exactly work, are not known to outside objects and structures. This is basically saying, this is my interface, this is what you can access, set and get, etc. So on here, um, this is the implementation of the class called my class. I need to, to synthesize the properties which I set. Uh, age. Apparently, Xcode 4.4 upward, you don't actually need to synthesize these, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, date. Autocomplete with code sent. Now then, for the method, void do something. Do something. Open the braces, and I'm going to put ns log something was done. There we go. And now, if I now this is a class now set up and described. So this. Uh, this area here, the header file, tells the system, the software, that the class exists. This describes it in, in detail. And now, if I go to main.m, I need to tell main.m that this class exists. So I do pound import, and then I go to my, they already know, you see my class.h, save that. Instead of this code here, I put void. Also, no, I don't do that. I instantiate it first. Uh, 
do something. Hang on, what's it called? Do the the a method is called do something. Okay, my class. I need to instantiate my class. That's what I need to do. So I'm doing wrong. My class. This class equals alloc. Oh no. Okay. Equals alloc. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. My class. Make sure it's all set up. All right. Yep. Equals my my class alloc. That's right. In it. Okay. Then I do this class dot. And what is the method on that class called? Do something. Okay. This class dot do something. Uh, save it. Build it. Build succeeded. Property access result unused. Getters should not be used for side effects. So basically, I've called the, the method on the class, but I haven't used the setter or the getter. Okay. So it works, but there's a few problems. We'll get to this later on. So basically, for self-reference, what I've done is I've um, imported foundation.h, which you always do, um, set up the interface of the class. So the, these are like the pipes and the wiring in and out of the class. So um, stuff can get in and out of the class and the class can process stuff and send it back out again. So given the class interface properties, um, given it uh, given the stub, I suppose you call this a stub, the um, starting point, just tell it that this uh, method exists and in the implementation I um, I echo everything that's written here but I synthesize the um, age and date, I don't need to say it's in, I don't need to describe the fact that it's int again because that's already been done here. Uh, the void do something method needs to be expanded upon um, to tell the software um, the code what to do with this method when it's called. So when this method is called, NS log will write a message uh, called some saying something was done. There we go. Thanks.